hello there beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you are most welcome my name is josie i'm a cameroonian based in the uk i'm a food family and lifestyle vlogger and i chat about very relatable topics as well if these are some of the things that interest you please do me a huge favor and subscribe to this channel and do not forget to turn on the notification bell if you'd like to be notified each time i upload a new video thank you so much today's topic is quite sensitive guys i feel the need to do this video because i feel as though a lot of women out there can resonate with the things that i'm about to talk about today i have actually thought about this particular topic several times but i've been hesitant but after watching this lady on youtube her youtube channel name is lily pop tv after watching her video she talked about some really unpleasant things that husbands say to their wives and those wives do tolerate those things but to me it is abuse and it is totally unacceptable so we decided to talk about it today i do understand that some men face abuse in marriages as well but today i am going to focus on the women for obvious reasons i am a woman after today's video if you guys want i can talk about signs that your wife is being abusive that's for the men if if you are a man watching this and you would like to know if your wife is being abusive to you or not leave your comments in the comment section and i'll definitely film that video for you today's video is another collaboration guys yay i am collaborating again with this amazing youtuber her name is jennifer i have collaborated with her before on this channel actually my first collaboration ever was with her we met on youtube and we've been in contact ever since and we do connect on so many levels she is just a bag of brains she is amazing i am going to talk about signs that your husband is being abusive and she is going to give you tips on how to help yourself if you find yourself in an abusive situation so after watching my video do head over to ada okechuku's channel and hear all the tips that she has to share with us on how you can help yourself if you find yourself in an abusive situation now the point about whether your husband's behavior is abusive is how it makes you feel keep in mind that there is a huge difference between verbal abuse and arguments disagreements are bound to happen in every healthy relationship but it is the both parties reaction towards the disagreement that makes the difference the words your husband uses on you when both of you are having a disagreement is what makes the difference i am going to share with you guys 10 signs that your husband's behavior might be abusive without further ado let's get right into the video point number one is dismissiveness an abusive husband will dismiss your opinion about anything he will dismiss your feelings and he will make you feel as though you are wrong for feeling the way you do when you bring something up to him for discussion the way he will respond or react to whatever you brought to him will make you leave that conversation feeling stupid and feeling as though you are wrong for even bringing that up in the first place this attitude can actually leave you second guessing yourself and it can make you feel as though you are just overthinking things meanwhile actually there is nothing wrong with your thoughts and there's nothing wrong with your feelings he needs to provide that listening ear and be able to make you feel as though your opinion and your feelings are valid not dismissing your thoughts and your opinions and your feelings this can actually leave you feeling alone even though you are married to somebody you're feeling alone and this can make you go out there looking for friends to talk to and at the end of the day you will be exposing your household to people who have no business knowing what is happening in your household so if you have that kind of husband who dismisses your opinions and your feelings about everything then that is a sign that he is being abusive and that must not be taken for granted point number two an abusive husband denies his own abuse 
you know there are men who will do things to you and hurt you really bad and when you bring that up to him so that both of you can talk about it and probably trash that out so that next time that should not repeat itself he will act as though what he did was very normal and you are the crazy one for feeling the way you do he will deny the fact that whatever he did to you was wrong some can even go as far as shamelessly denying the fact that what you are complaining about actually happened any man who respects you will listen to you and make sure that they don't repeat that same thing that you are complaining about but if you bring something up to him something that he did something that you him and god know that he did and he denies it that is a sign of an abusive husband because this just means that he can actually do that same thing next time without any iota of shame so pay attention to things like that if your husband is the type who does things to you and when you bring them up he denies them or he says that you are just being crazy for feeling bad about that thing that he did to you that is a bad sign and that must not be taken for granted point number three is criticisms this could be in the form of name calling or making really unpleasant and sarcastic comments i understand they say that you have to be friends with your husband and things like that but there are certain words or things that are totally unacceptable let's say for example you are playing with your husband or you are joking about something then he calls you a fool or he says things like you are stupid that to me is totally unacceptable i don't know if things like that mean nothing to you but to me there are certain words that you use on me that will completely take my mood from 100 to zero different people welcome criticisms differently something that can be totally unacceptable to a might be something that b finds normal so the bottom line is how those words make you feel if you find the words that your husband uses on you as unpleasant then there's a sign that he is abusing you because it is all about how it makes you feel so pay attention to those things and what makes it worse is if you complain to him about those things and he doesn't stop doing them he continuously does them knowing very well that you are hurt by the things that he says to you yet he doesn't stop and he continues doing them that is a big sign that he is being abusive because he really does not care about how you feel and pay attention to his reaction when you bring those things up to him point number four is economic abuse this can be withholding money from you not involving you in family finances or even going as far as stopping you from getting a job or starting up a business for yourself this could be done as a way of stopping you from being independent and being able to make your own choices while being married to him it is all about controlling any man who does not want you to be able to make money for yourself and i understand that there are some husbands who have more than enough money to run the home take care of their wives and their kids and they will not want to have their wives work but if your husband is that kind of man who makes a lot of money and he can provide for the home without you having to work and he makes you come to him to beg for every dime that you need to do anything that is a sign that he's being abusive and if you want to work or you want to start up a business for yourself and he keeps stopping you from doing what makes you happy then that is a red flag because you have to be able to do what makes you happy without him restricting you from doing that even if it's not about the money i understand that there are some women who just like to work they work and they take care of their homes very well they just want to be out there and those are the things that makes them feel productive and feel good about themselves but if your husband constantly stops you from that it's not as though you have little children to take care of and it's not as though you have a lot to do at home he just wants you to stay in the house just so that he can have that control over you some actually keep family bank accounts in their names only and they'll make you give an account of every dime that they give you to spend for the household that is not a good sign at all 
how can a husband give his wife money to spend for the household and before they give you another batch of money you have to come and give an account of how you spent the previous money that does not make any sense at all he hides money from you he prevents you from getting a job or starting up a business he does not involve you in finances and he keeps family bank accounts in his name only that is a red flag i know that if he's the only one making the money in the family well he could be keeping that money in his name but any man who really loves his wife will make sure that his wife has some certain amount under her keeping that she can use at any time to do the things that she wants to do if you want to send for example airtime to your mom you want to buy your friend a birthday present or just about anything maybe you want to buy a shoe for yourself a handbag anything there has to be some money available for you to do things like that not always run into your husband every time for every dime that you need for whatever thing that you need to do if your husband is the type that makes sure that you run to them every time you need money for anything then he is being abusive because he wants to be in control of your life so that might be a sign that he is being abusive point number five an abusive husband will intentionally hurt you he will try to embarrass you and he will even set out to punish you for something that you might have done to him in the past when it comes to embarrassment guys maybe a third party is involved and he does or says something to intentionally embarrass you in front of that person that is a sign that he is being abusive i've seen cases where a wife might have hurt her husband in one way or the other and he decided to forgive her from whatever she did to him but he plans somewhere in his heart that whenever he has the opportunity to pay her back in her own coins he is going to do just that and he did not just plan but he went as far as doing exactly something terrible to intentionally hurt his wife that is a bad sign I believe that if you do something to your husband and he decides to forgive you from that then both of you need to move on from whatever happened and whatever he says or does to you is not supposed to be as a result of something that you might have done to them in the past that is a sign of an unforgiving husband and it is not a good sign at all because he does that to intentionally hurt you embarrass you or punish you for something that had already passed maybe you no longer do that thing to him but he still feels the need to make you feel the way he felt when whatever thing you did or said to them happened that is a very bad sign guys because it puts you in a situation where you may be viewed as less valuable point number six an abusive husband will insult your appearance guys this thing actually breaks my heart a lot because i've seen situations where husbands are body shaming their wives a woman that has given you kids even if she has not yet had kids is she supposed to have the same size that she had 10 years ago is she not supposed to grow there are men who body shame their wives to the point where their wives will even be uncomfortable to have a normal meal in the presence of their husbands if people out there are body shaming you then your husband is supposed to be the one who stands by you and makes sure that you feel good about yourself if by any chance you are battling with health issues because of your size or weight then your husband should encourage you to lose some weight instead of using very mean words on you like you are fat look at you look at your age mates they have had the same number of children as you but they don't look this fat and things like that there are some that will even come and tell you that look at the quantity of food that you are eating can't you see that you are too fat you are not supposed to be eating this type of things a husband who loves you can even buy you a dress size down just to encourage you to 
work out and lose some weight in order to fit into that dress or some can even accompany you to the gym if both of you have grown kids or if you don't have kids he can accompany you to the gym or he can opt to stay with the children while you go to the gym or he can go as far as helping you to buy some exercise equipment or gym outfits just to encourage you to go to the gym and lose weight if you have gained weight and you are not sick because of that weight then your husband should not put you under pressure to lose weight you have to lose weight first of all for yourself because that is something that you think you need and that is something that you know that is good for your health not your husband putting you under pressure by using mean words on you that is a sign of an abusive husband i'm not saying that your husband cannot comment about your size he can comment about your size but there is always a better way to say something that will not leave the person who is receiving that information feeling bad about themselves if the way he comments on your weight makes you feel bad pay attention to that he is being abusive some will even rubbish your makeup and trash talk your outfits i understand that makeup does not look good on everybody and not all men want their women to wear makeup but it is something that we like to do it is something that makes us happy and every man needs to understand that and respect that as well if you're about to go out with your husband for example and you wear your makeup and he doesn't like it he can say things like i think you look very good without makeup i prefer you with your bare face and if he says things like that and you really love him and respect him you can take off that makeup for that particular day and go out with him without the makeup but if you're going out with the girls or maybe you're going out alone and you feel like wearing makeup your husband does not have to constantly talk about that makeup and become a problem and there are times that you can wear an outfit that is not very flattering on you the way your husband talks about it can even make you go and change into something else without feeling bad about yourself if he says something like this dress is really nice but i don't think it's flattering and he can even help you to pick out a different outfit i'm very sure that you will wear whatever he opts for you to wear and you'll go to wherever you're going to without feeling bad and your energy will still be high but if he says things like you look like a clown in that outfit or you look like a devil with that makeup those are very mean words and if it makes you feel bad remember then it is abuse and that must not be taken for granted point number seven an abusive husband monitors your whereabouts he wants to know where you are at each point in time and he insists that you answer his phone calls and respond to his text messages no matter the situation any sensible husband has to understand that if you see their missed call you are going to return that phone call or if you see a text that needs response you are going to respond to that text message but an abusive husband will continue calling and texting even when he knows that you might be in a meeting and you are not allowed to take phone calls at that time or maybe you are at work where phones are not allowed he will continue calling and he will make a case out of you not responding to their phone calls or their text messages sometimes the things he is calling you about is not even urgent it's not even an emergency there could be things that he can actually wait till you come back home and you guys can talk about it or maybe things that he can actually just leave a message and you will respond to that message whenever you see it but no he'll continue calling 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 and when you don't answer when he expects you to answer it will become an issue and he can even go as far as being physically abusive because of a phone call or a text message that you did not respond to when he expected you to do so that is a bad sign and that must not be taken for granted point number eight an abusive husband can go as far as using other people to make you feel uncomfortable he can say things like 
everybody thinks you are crazy or everybody says that you are wrong something might have happened and instead of him to maybe advise you on how to go about it he will come and tell you what every other person including him thinks about the whole situation to me that does not sit well this thing actually happens a lot when it has to do with in-laws i mean like your husband's relatives if you're having issues with any of his relatives instead of him to defend you and come home and tell you the truth that you need to know he will join them they will grind your name very well and he'll come and make you feel worse about the whole situation your husband is supposed to be your friend be there for you to protect you where you are not available to protect yourself speak up for you and then come home and tell you that i think in this particular situation you could have behaved like this or you could have said things like this that is what a supportive husband does not the type who comes and tells you everything bad that everybody out there is talking concerning you that is not a good sign and that must not be taken for granted point number nine an abusive husband will blame you for his problems whatever is wrong in his life is your fault it's either you were not supportive enough or you did something that you were not supposed to do or you didn't do something that you were supposed to do any responsible man is supposed to be responsible for their failures and look for ways in order to make whatever they did not succeed at become successful not come and blame you for things that are not working well in his life i've actually seen a man who has told his wife that she has a bad spirit and it is because of her bad spirit that bad things are happening in his life i don't know if there is something like that but i find it really really weird personally i feel as though if your husband is responsible and he respects you he will not think of blaming you whenever something goes wrong in his life there are some days that your husband might have a bad day and when he comes home instead of him to maybe rest and maybe just share whatever happened with you he will actually come and fight you in the house as though you are the cause of whatever happened out there you cannot have your husband making you feel as though you are the cause of whatever wrong thing that is happening to them that is totally not acceptable your husband is supposed to see you as a partner that he can come to and talk about whatever thing that is going on in his life and even if you don't have the solution to whatever has happened you can just listen sometimes a listening ear is enough but when he comes and talks to you as though it is because of you that something bad has happened to them that is just sad and it is just a sign that he is abusive because he wants you to feel small and feel as though you are not doing something that you are supposed to do and you have to be strong enough to understand that you are not the problem if not you are going to spend your whole time feeling bad trying to figure out what you did wrong meanwhile there is actually nothing that you did wrong point number 10 an abusive husband actually thinks that you deserve all the ill treatments that he gives you and he will make you feel as though no other person in this world would ever want you now that is a lie from the pit of hell you deserve better especially from somebody who is supposed to be your husband who is supposed to love you provide for you protect you and treat you like a queen that you are you deserve better and you must not believe that no matter how hard he tries to make you feel as though you deserve all his ill treatments no you deserve better all right guys it is one thing to figure out that your husband's behavior might be abusive and it is another thing to know what to do with that knowledge now that is where jennifer ada okechuku comes in kindly head over to her channel and hear all the tips that she has to share with you on how to help yourself if you find yourself in an abusive 
situation thank you guys so much i know i did not touch on everything this video is quite lengthy already and i hope that it was worth it if you have more signs that somebody's husband might be abusive kindly drop them in the comment section so that we can all be aware of these things and guard ourselves against these abusive men thank you guys so much for watching if you think that somebody else needs to see this video kindly share it with them and let's be aware of these things guys nobody deserves to be sad and unhappy because they are married to an abusive husband thank you all so much stay blessed i hope to see you in my next video Bye-bye.